This is Marco Wu from eProgrammer.com. I'm going to talk about how can we have a industrial level title block in our drawing. In here, we need to talk about what material you want to use. Uh, for example, aluminum, uh, steel, titanium. Uh, if you wanted to make a part for uh, like um, a bearing. You want to use a steel plastic or what kind of material? What kind of plastic you want to use? Uh, highly rare resistant plastic? So you need to specify what are you going to use to make the bear. Okay, the designer name. Uh, the reason is that you want you want the guy who make really like manufacture the bear bearing to you. Uh, to know you are the designer because uh, whenever it come up with some problem they can contact you the design state uh, basically is that uh, you need to tell people uh, when did you make it the title of the design well for example if you make a bearing you, you specify you want to make a bearing a bearing for what you need to let people know oh you make this bearing for that machine and and that machine they like, maybe have like 107 bearing like which bearing is it oh the bearing is for supporting uh, a mechanism like you may call it supporting mechanism bearing whatever you need to make people know and also make yourself know what they're bearing for okay finish uh what finish is uh, for example, you want the the bearing like have some color. You want to uh, have some um, black color. So you you want to like paint a layer of of paint on there. You need to white into finish. The scale of the drawing, like um, normally when we draw the draw, draw the drawing, it is like may not be in a, a relevant scale. Maybe you you want to make a bearing way very very small. But when you draw it. You want to make sure that, um, the guy who machine it can can see it, can read it. So you want to make the scale, change the scale. Make sure like oh, you want to see in here. You you need to tell the people, you want to see in here. Maybe in a different size of the actual, actual border, or the final border. The sheet number in here. Oh, this one, uh, maybe your join have a have. Uh, a lot of parts and very complicated or your your drawing is for assembly um, you need to know well you need to tell people how many how many sheet is in there DWG number basically is uh, you need to tell people a uh, you need to give the part a number so people can know oh well uh, they talk talking about the bearing like the bearing uh, for that machine we assign a number for them, like for example, 105744. That is a unique number. It's specified for that that uh, part, that bearing. Adjust phone number. Well, adjust is quite important because uh, uh, most of the time, if, if you don't have a machine shop in your company, you need to send it out. You need to um, tell people, okay, this, this part basically has come from which company? and um, they need to know your address like maybe they need to ship it back to you uh, some contact information so they can contact you computer part computer part is for yourself like uh, for your own uh, for your company side like um, well if uh, one of your uh, one of your other people in your company want to find about like this specific part they have this piece of drawing on paper but they they want to adjust do a little modification so uh, they, they they need to find the uh, computer drawing so how can they find the path okay in here I put it in the left uh, lower corner uh, well you need to tell well the reason it is the DWG number again because it would be easier for people to read it so you want to like type the DWG number in here again um, the unit number so um, in here as you um, you said new design or revision well if it is a revision what is the reason of the revision well 
you can tell people that it's because uh, you, uh, a relation, for example, the brain, like you want to just adjust a little bit, make the um, diameter change, then um, you want to write it down in here. And also the relation dates and the design dates, you also want to write, uh, write in here.